Draka Marshall, A Lifetime of Leadership, Advocacy, then Philanthropy, Introduction, Draka Marshall, a prominent Mozambican politician and humanitarian, has left an indelible mark on the world stage through her unwavering dedication to social justice, human rights, and the empowerment of women and children. Her remarkable life journey, marked by resilience, compassion, and visionary leadership, spans continents and generations. From her early involvement in the struggle for Mozambican independence to her tenure as First Lady of both Mozambique and South Africa, Graka Moshol has been a steadfast advocate for positive change. This essay delves into her multifaceted career, highlighting her political contributions. Philanthropic endeavors, then personal triumphs, while also exploring the impact of her two marriages on her life and legacy, early life and education, Graca Moshal's journey began in rural Incadine, Portuguese East Africa, modern-day Mozambique, where she was born on October 17, 1945. Raised in a family of modest means, she experienced personal loss early in life with the death of her father shortly before her birth. Despite these challenges, Marshall demonstrated academic excellence and determination from a young age, earning a scholarship to the University of Lisbon in Portugal. It was during her time in Lisbon that she became deeply involved in independence movements and developed a passion for social justice and equality. Political career, Marshall's commitment to her homeland led her back to Mozambique in 1973, where she joined the Mozambican Liberation Front, Frilimo, and embarked on a career in politics. Following Mozambique's independence in 1975, she was appointed as the country's first minister of education and culture, a position from which she spearheaded ambitious initiatives to expand access to education for Mozambican children, particularly girls. Under her leadership, the enrollment rates in primary and secondary schools skyrocketed, laying the foundation for a more educated and empowered populace. Throughout her political career, Marshall remained dedicated to advancing the rights of women and children. Recognizing them as the bedrock of sustainable development and societal progress. Her advocacy extended beyond Mozambique's borders and as she became a vocal champion for gender equality and human rights on the global stage, marriages, Graka Marshall's personal life has been intertwined with two iconic figures in African history, Samora Marshall and Nelson Mandela. In 1975, she married Samora Marshall, the first president of independent Mozambique, with whom she had two children. Their partnership symbolized a shared commitment to liberation and social transformation, tragically cut short by Samora's untimely death in a plane crash in 1986. Despite the profound loss, Marshall continued to honor Samora's legacy through her own activism and leadership. In 1998, Marshall embarked on a new chapter of her life by marrying Nelson Mandela, the revered anti-apartheid leader and South Africa's first post-apartheid president. Their union not only represented a personal bond but also a union of two powerful legacies in the fight against injustice and oppression. As First Lady of South Africa, Marshall brought her wealth of experience and compassion to bear on issues ranging from HIV, AIDS awareness to children's rights, leaving an indelible mark on the nation's history, philanthropic work beyond her roles as First Lady, Graka Marshall has dedicated herself to philanthropy and humanitarian efforts aimed at improving the lives of the most vulnerable populations. Her numerous accolades, including being made an honorary dame commander of the Order of the British Empire and receiving the Nansen Medal from the United Nations, attest to her tireless commitment to social justice and humanitarian causes. As a member of various international organizations and boards, Marshall has leveraged her influence to advocate for equitable development, maternal and child health, and education. Her leadership roles in institutions such as the Africa Progress Panel and the Elders reflect her deep-seated belief in the power of collective action and dialogue to address complex global challenges, legacy and impact. Graka Marshall's legacy transcends borders and generations. Embodying the ideals of resilience, compassion, and leadership in the face of adversity. 
Her lifelong dedication to advancing the rights of women and children has inspired countless individuals and organizations around the world to continue the struggle for equality and justice. As she continues to advocate for social change and sustainable development, Marshall remains a beacon of hope and a symbol of courage for future generations. Conclusion, in a world fraught with challenges and injustices, Graca Marshall stands as a shining example of the transformative power of compassion, leadership, and perseverance. From her humble beginnings in rural Mozambique to her ascent onto the global stage, she has remained steadfast in her commitment to building a more just and equitable world for all. As we reflect on her remarkable life and legacy, let us draw inspiration from her example and rededicate ourselves to the pursuit of peace, equality, and human dignity.